Kermanots, Jebediah Kerman, Bill Kerman, and Bob Kerman are entering the spacecraft. They're running a few minutes ahead of schedule. This has been the pattern today. All events checking out very nicely, and if anything, the crew running a bit ahead of time. They got some gentle ribbing about their early arrival from the spacecraft test director. He suggested that they might have missed breakfast, but they assured him they hadn't. They had, in fact, uh, split a two-pound steak. Our status is green and go at this time, T minus two minutes. Even though forecasts have been for thunderstorms at the Cape for each of the last few launches of the EDB, the situation has consistently cleared up during the afternoon launch times. Earlier, uh, Mission Director Gene Kerman approved an early hatch closure, signaling that everything is in excellent shape. We are T minus 1 minute and 30 seconds. This is the launch of the Calliope spacecraft atop the Saturn 9 rocket bound for Titan Station. Docking is expected to take place on Saturday. The capsule is spacious and the Kerbals have ample supplies, but if for some reason it is not able to dock on Saturday, the expectation is that it would have to deorbit and return. Now at T minus 60 seconds, T minus 60 seconds, and the tanks have been pressurized. The first stage containing kerosene and liquid oxygen, the second stage liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. We continue as we go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Engines are lit. Commit and lift off. We have lift off of the Calliope spacecraft aboard the Saturn 9 rocket. Lift off at 3:30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time from Cape Canaveral. Pressure in the cabin looks good as the spacecraft gains altitude here. T plus 50 seconds, altitude 5,600 meters, velocity is 260 meters per second. The spacecraft is now supersonic. T plus 75 seconds, 14.6 kilometers altitude, 520 meters per second. The crew is going through the area of max Q, maximum dynamic pressure exerted on the vehicle. Controllers report that all systems are looking fine. T plus 1 minute 45 seconds, the Saturn 9 is now 33 kilometers in altitude, 1,018 meters per second in velocity. The Kerbals do have helmet cameras. Uh, we are not clear to show you those images during the first stage by request of the Kerbonauts. However, we will be able to bring you the in-cabin in images during the second stage and we are coming close to that. We are 15 seconds away from main engine cutout of the first stage.
That's main engine cutout. Separation of the first stage. And the second stage is lit. The crew reporting that all systems are good. The crew reporting the separation of the escape system. As the Saturn 9 now continues on to orbit with the Calliope spacecraft on board, carrying three Kerbals to Titan Station. We're waiting for those in-cockpit images that we were promised. And here we are. I I don't know whether we are... Seems to be from Bob's point of view here, Bob Kerman. And we can see the orbital parameters in front of us there. Very nice. This is Jebediah Kerman's point of view. Uh, he is the mission commander and seated below the pilot and mission specialist. The pilot for the mission is Bill Kerman, the mission specialist is Bob Kerman. Uh, though Commander Jebediah Kerman uh, does initiate most of the commands for the vehicle. It's a nice view out. The out the cabin here. Still a bit shaky here as the J-2 rocket continues to fire. Gene Kerman has given the crew a tentative go for orbit. There are few reports from the pilots. Jebediah reports excellent steering on this vehicle. We are getting a little bit of distortion from some of Jeb's reports, but they are all very affirmative sorts of reports. The Calliope capsule has a service module attached to it that contains 13 tons of Aerozine and N204, and that will be used for for further missions. It uses the same service module engine as the Apollo missions, the AJ-10-137. All reports still looking excellent from their spacecraft as they proceed across the Atlantic Ocean here. Calliope, of course, is named after the Greek muse that is responsible for epics and is presumably the muse for Homer in his writing of the Iliad and the Odyssey. Homer begins those epics by addressing the muse, and so we hope that this will begin an epic journey for the Kerbals, an odyssey of their own. T plus 6 minutes and 30 seconds, and the uh, orbital parameters are as you see them. All indications are that we are on track for the planned rendezvous with Titan Station. The Saturn 9 will leave the Calliope in a slightly high apoapsis and the Calliope will then allow the station to catch up with it. The second stage will burn for slightly less than its regular six minutes and following second stage burnout we do expect a brief firing of the service module engine to put the command module into its proper orbit.
Less than a minute left in the second stage. We are at 10 seconds from Seiko, standing by for confirmation of Seiko. Mission director advises that they have asked Bill to tell Jeb that he's a go. Waiting now for a separation of the command module and service module from the second stage of the Saturn IX rocket. Jeb is of course checking to make sure all systems aboard the capsule are okay before going ahead with that. The other two are simply waiting for him to confirm. Here's Jeb's view. And the uh, second stage is separated from the command module and service module. Okay, and all reports are good. All reports are good. The Calliope spacecraft is now in orbit around Earth and prepared to make its way to Titan Station. We are waiting for the firing of the service module engine to bring it to its intended orbit, and that should be imminent now. At this point, there's every expectation that the Calliope will make its Saturn Saturday docking with Titan Station, so I'm sure we'll all look forward to the station finally getting manned. Or kerbled. And with Jeb, Bill, and Bob now on their way to the station, we thank you for watching this broadcast of the launch of the Clappy spacecraft to orbit.